Picture Group, Let My Vote Count Alliance, has described the special voting exercise as one fraught with irregularities. Convener of the group, David Asante, addressing a news conference here in Accra, said the EC's failure adequately failure to adequately prepare for the polls have created an instance where many security personnel cannot find their names on the electoral roll. This, he added, has disenfranchised many. As a prelude to the general election, the Let My Vote Count Alliance is alarmed at the blatant disregard of the regulations laid out in the CI-94 for special voting exercise. The Electoral Commission itself had published conflicting results on the exact number of participants in the special voting exercise. Exactly how many people are on the special voters list for today's election? Who knows it on authority? Because the EC has churned out two separate conflicting figures. Strangely, the special voters list has placed voters in constituencies where they are not registered. Ladies and gentlemen, these can't be errors. And if they are, they are so grievous, we can't overlook them. Election 2016 is a serious business. We have no room to tolerate laziness or errors or irregularities. We will not. This has created chaos and confusion in many constituencies across the length and breadth of this country today as we speak. Thirdly, there appears to have been a grand scheme to disenfranchise thousands of security personnel through the special voting exercise. It is deliberate. It is not a mistake. The Electoral Commission covertly or overtly has disenfranchised a lot of security personnel through the ongoing special voting exercise. May I take this opportunity to make this emphatic statement? If you are a security person and you have been disenfranchised, there is no constitutional empowerment that is supreme to your right of voting. On the day of election, if you have been disenfranchised and you never had the opportunity to vote on the day of special voting, ignore all assignments. Go and vote. Well, the other group is alleging that they have retrieved the Jude bag bearing the EC's logo from an official of the governing NDC. The group intends to press charges at the police station. Our commission's logo, which we retrieved from an NDC party official. From here, we are going straight to the police station to make an official complaint. We retrieved this from the car of an NDC party official. And there are more of such delicate electoral materials in the possession of some political parties. We know on authority there are traditional rulers in this country whose homes ballot boxes are certain. At the appointed time, we shall mention names of traditional leaders whose homes ballot boxes are certain. This carrier bag was retrieved in an operation by the Let My Vote Count Alliance from the car of an NDC vice chairman. We are going to the police station to lodge an official complaint. What we are saying is, if the Electoral Commission will tell us six ballot boxes fell off from the pickup, they will just replace them. A lot more of such items are in the possession of some political party men and women. Do you think this election is being prepared to be conducted freely, fairly, and credibly? We maintain the EC's neutrality is questionable. The IGP's neutrality is questionable. 